Hmm? Oh, it's my phone. Hello? Hey, uh, baby, it's Enter. Oh, hey, Enter, what's up? Well, you see, uh, I actually managed to get a sample of that stuff from the Ella doll. Oh, the, the black goo? Yeah, and, uh, I think you should come take a look at it. It's got some pretty remarkable stuff. All right, do you want me to get the rest of the fun times? No! Just you. I feel like you'd be able to take this a little bit easier than most. Okay, uh, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Hmm, weird. Ah, baby! Uh, good to see you. Come in, come in. Uh, thanks. Welcome to our humble abode, Afton Robotics. Hey, baby. Nice to see ya. Hey, Scrap Baby. Wait, Afton Robotics? Why'd he call it that? I'm not very sure. We said it just kind of clicked to him one night, during his experiments. Huh, that's weird. But aren't you guys conspiracy theorists? Or at least that's how they explained to me on the phone. Ugh, excuse me! We are making endeavors in science. This isn't conspiracies, this is evolving theories. Yeah, sure. So where is Ennard anyway? Boo! <laughs> yeah, hey baby. Oh, oh my god, Ennard, I'm so sorry. Uh, don't worry, I'll walk it off. Ugh. So, you here to see the cool stuff we found. Uh, yeah, you're the one that called me over here. All right, let me go get it. So, uh... Coffee after this? What? Here it is. The black goo that came from that Ella doll. I actually noticed it only a couple hours after the whole thing happened. I was looking over the workstation where we were investigating the thing and found it left back some black residue. So I decided to contain it in this little thing and run some tests on it. So what did you find? Is it like oil? Or... Not quite. Alright. Everyone gather. <laughs> oh my god! Watch where you're going, Mr. Butters. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, Mr. Butters. Mm. Hey, Enter. Uh, all right, uh, Mr. Butters, you sit over there. Mm, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a live screening of test number five of subject 007. Whatever this is. Now let me cut the lights. You have to have the appropriate lighting for this. Hey, baby, pop a squat next to me. Uh, all right. Okay, now let me pull up the file. So what exactly is this test on? I'm glad you asked. This test is on STEM audio. Stem audio? What's that? Well, it's audio that causes living things to react with their stem cells. Ennard, I'm not a- I don't have a degree in, like, science. Can, can you explain that in a little simpler terms? Basically, the audio will make living things, you know, do things like move and react and touch and feel and see and blah blah blah, all that stuff. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Alright, so here is stem audio one. Whoa, it's... it's moving! I know, incredible, isn't it? Whoa... God... Ennard, when is this done? Just let it go for a little longer, I wanna see what this does. Ugh, that audio, I hate listening to that. Ugh, it hurts my ears. Um, just go into a different room then, if you two are so bothered by it. Gladly. Hey, hey. Baby, don't get too close to it. Mr. Butters, what are we gonna do? Enter, you gotta get it off my face! Now, what do I do? Enter, ah, it's stuck to my face! Uh, I, 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 my butters to get it off! What's that gonna do? Do it! Oh my god, fine! Hold still! What are you doing? Stay back! What are you talking about? I'm not gonna hurt you! What's the worst that a stick of butter is gonna do? <laughs> it's off. Oh my god, what is in this? Oh, the butter? To tell you the truth, uh, Ender, that's my modern stick, not my butter stick. Oh, that explains a lot. It's also screeching. Oh my god, baby, you okay? <laughs> Get in my your stupid container. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, turn the light on. Alright. Hey, are you alright? I'm not really sure. God, baby, this is why I said didn't get, don't get too close to it. You have no idea what that thing even is. I have no idea what that thing even is. It could it be some kind of bug or a parasite? You could have an infection. I, I don't want to give you an infection. No, I feel fine. It's just mentally, I feel a little weird. Like you got some kind of aftershock, Mr. Butters? Yeah, kind of like that. Well, what did you see when it clinked onto your face? I, 
I, uh, I, I, I don't really know. For some reason, I can't really put it into words what I saw. But anyway, that experiment told us that it was alive. Whatever that thing is, is a living being and it reacts to stem audio. I don't really know how, but it does. Well, it's getting us one step closer to figure out what the heck's going on here. Yeah. Oh yeah, do you have any updates on the picture that we sent? Funtime Freddy took from his phone? Oh, right. I tried scanning the picture multiple times with different things and it's very strange. How so? Well, it's not that I doubt Funtime Freddy's photography skills or his truthfulness to his statements. It's not like I think he's a traitor or anything, but I scanned the image for image manipulation, just to be sure, and it's strange. It's almost like whatever creature's there is edited in, but it's not. It can't be. It's a real photograph. All signs point to it being manipulated, somehow photoshopped in, but it, it's not. That's so weird. Other than that... It matches no records. I have no idea what the heck or who the heck that thing is. All I know is somehow it can be read as manipulated imagery, but obviously that's not true. Um, enough science talk. Uh, do you want to stay over for dinner? I'm sorry about what just happened. No, I, I think I'm gonna go home. Y you sure? I, I feel bad about what just happened at all. No, Andrew, it's okay. It's my fault anyway. I shouldn't have went close to it like you told me not to. It's my fault. I'm not mad at you. I just... I just want to go home and lay down. Okay. I understand. Well, I'll get some good rest. Uh, tomorrow I'll read back at you with some new stuff. Yeah. Huh? Uh, Ennard? What are you looking at? Oh, no. What's wrong? <laughs> Where did the goo go? Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. Pretty good show. You're yeah, it's, it's not bad. I don't loved. know. It's, it's okay, I guess. Hey, well, uh, be pleased, at least we have something to watch. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on that. the ceiling fan. That's not exactly preferred. <laughs> that was a 70-inch plasma screen TV. So, how can we help you? So, you are the Funtime animatronics. The ones I've heard so much about. Huh? D do we know you? Well, you might know a family member of mine. Her name is Circus Baby, and I am her sister, Eleanor. Wait, sister? I didn't know Circus Baby had a sister. Yeah, what gives? Usually whenever someone shows up with a new family member, it always ends up turning out being evil. Evil? Oh, I would be no such thing. How presumptuous of you. I am doing nothing more than visiting my sister for, uh... What's the human holiday? <gasps> Humans! And it's Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving. But wasn't that like a couple weeks ago? Oh, well, you see, I got stuck in traffic. I won't be long, I promise. Now, where is she? Uh, not here. Yeah, I think she went to Ennard's or something. Oh, well, that's too bad. Do you guys mind if I stay here until she comes back? I mean, not really, but you did break our TV, so I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little peeved about that. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, how much was that again? Like, two grand. It's a, it's a pretty expensive TV. Oh, well, I'm um, just, uh... Uh, just take my card. Oh, money! Thank you! I gotta go order the new TV! Huh. Well, I guess it's just us now. Yeah. So, uh, Eleanor, was it? Yes. What's with the, uh... Necklace? Oh, this was something my father gave to me. It's very precious. It's something to remember him by. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, who's your dad? Oh, well, my father is, uh, Dr. Talbert. Mm, Dr. Talbert. Oh, your dad's doctor. That's cool. Now, uh, what's his first name? Uh... Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Uh, besides, <laughs> Baby will tell us anyway. You two are sisters, after all. Yeah, Baby's never mentioned her dad. Oh, right, of course. Sh she'll know his name. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume it's probably been a while. I mean... She's never mentioned him, so you guys probably aren't super close. 
yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. uh, hey, so, uh, why don't we go check up on that Freddy guy of yours? Mm, sure, okay. We also need to get around to fixing the lights. Ooh, I better be careful, or else my cover is going to be blown. <laughs> ah, magnifico! Just like the last one! Hey, Freddy. Oh, hey, Foxy, look, I got the new TV in! Oh, yeah, neat. Oh, nice new TV. Thanks. Oh, yeah, but it was really weird. Uh, after I ordered it, like, the money went through like a charm, but for some reason I couldn't find the card, and it looks like there was, like, some, like, black stuff where I left it, which was a little strange. Do you know anything about that? Oh, well, maybe a mouse or something took it. It's okay, I have more. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, Laura. Well, this has been an eventful day. Yeah, I wonder when Baby's supposed to get back. Oh, ah, Baby's calling me. Hello? Foxy, listen, uh, there was trouble at the lab. Uh, there's this, like, strange black goo that got out, and we're trying to find it. I'm not gonna be home until a little bit later. Oh, God, do we need to come out? No, 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 it's fine. Uh, is everything all right there? Uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, but your sister came to visit. What? Y you know, your sister Eleanor. She, she came for Thanksgiving, but she got stuck in traffic. I... Hang on a second. Nerd. What's wrong? Okay, so apparently there's someone over there claiming to be my sister named Eleanor? Huh? something wrong with that? Leonard, I don't have a sister! Huh? I, oh, yeah, that would make sense, actually. Wait. Okay. Act like everything's normal. Just say, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna be over a little bit later and then hang up. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, I'll be over in a little bit. Thanks. Uh, bye. What's up? Oh, bye, baby. Oh, hang up. So, uh, Eleanor, what do you guys like to do for fun? Oh, what's going on with baby? She said she's gonna be a little bit, actually. But she'd be home soon, so, uh, yeah, everything's alright. Well, to go to your question, hmm. me and Baby used to play this game when we were kids. Come gather around. Uh, we'll play it, and I'll see if you all like it. Alright, this might sound crazy, but we've dealt with a lot of crazy, so it can't be as crazy as some of the stuff we went through. I think when that black goo attached to you, it stole some of your cells in your DNA. Wait, what? Yeah, and then it used it to reproduce those cells and look into something like you, and it's posing as you. I mean, think about it. Right when we leave the lab, we get a gall saying there's a mysterious figure that looks like you, and is claiming to be someone that you don't even know. That's true. So you think that black goo is sentient and posing as my sister? Or a sister I don't have? That's my thought. Whoever created this goo, they're intelligent. Yeah. Well, Mr. Buddies, what's the plan? Eleanor, are you sure we're doing this right? Oh, trust me, darling, you're doing it perfectly. So, is this some sort of acrobatics test? I'm pretty good at those. Mm, something like that. Depends on if you call the mind an acrobatic. All right, everyone, I want you to close your eyes. Mine are already closed. Oh, well, that's perfectly fine. Now, I want you all to imagine what it's like to be beautiful. Well, I don't know, I'm pretty good about myself. Yeah, I'm not too hard on my self-image. I don't even know what I look like. I mean, sure, I wish I had legs, but I'm not really too upset about it. Okay, fine. Then imagine yourself being perfect. Beautiful in a more... perfectionist sense. What's the most perfect version of yourself? Imagine being that. Something that could not be replicated because it is you but also the perfectionate image. What everyone would want to be, but also something that makes you unique. That is truly what it means to be beautiful. At least that's how I put it. And it's certainly a way most would. But all I ask of you is to please cooperate, as when you open your eyes, you will truly be beautiful. Oh my god, you guys! Is that baby? It's all a part of the procedure. Just please keep your eyes closed and stay calm. Oh, guys, it's me! You're being tricked! It's just the negative thoughts plaguing your brain, everyone. You're fine. They'll be gone soon. What are you doing to my family? I'm making them beautiful. And what are you going to do about it? That's right. Nothing. Besides, I've already won. What are you talking about? Ah, I've got a gun! <gasps> Let my friends go! No, it's not going to matter in a minute anyway. Uh... Um... What are you doing, Ennard? Shooter! Uh... uh. Well, why'd you throw it? I didn't have any ammo! Oh my god. You guys! Freddy! And what? Freddy? Help! Foxy! Laura? 
You're too late. I've already taken all of what I need. Huh? <laughs> you... Hey! What are you doing? Give me that! Oh, you clearly want it for something! You don't know what that is. You don't know what that can do. Wait, baby, no! There. You're the pride off my cold, dead neck if you... Oh, God. You idiot. What's locked inside that pendant is remnant. You're not gonna like what happens next. <laughs> I feel funny. Uh, baby! Baby! Uh, it's alright, it's alright, let me just get this necklace off you. No! Uh, uh, what are you talking about? It, it feels... It feels good. Yes, I... I remember this... This feeling. It was just like when the goo touched my face. Yes, I... I remember. Baby, you, you, you're going nuts. You, you want me to take that off? Guys, come on, get off! Ice! Oh, come on, Ennard, what's wrong? You're not afraid of a little science, are you? I don't like where this is going! Oh god, oh god, oh god, this is gross! I need remnant. Each Ennard, each one more remnant. It won't hurt, it'll just sting a little. Oh god, oh my god. Oh, baby, you do not want more! A thing's playing tricks on you! It's nothing more than a parasite! God, what do I do? I... I need plan B. Where are you going, Edder? The fun's just getting started. Mr. Butters, we need plan B. Plan B, if things really gotten that bad, these things have really gotten that bad. Are you sure? I'll pay the medical bills, whatever, please. I, I just need you to do it just once. All right, just give me a second. Where are you, Edward? Just hand me your soul. All I want's the remnant from it. You can keep the rest of it. Even if it'll do you no good. Come on, Ennard. Ennard, I'm hungry. Jesus, do some people lack standards? Yeah, if we don't stop pursuing this video, it's gonna get age restricted. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can hold. All right, just let me litter over here. Baby! I've got your tasty remnant! It's all glowy and stuff. Liquidy, it's, it's good. <laughs> Hello! Taste my processed fats! Ah! <laughs> we did it, Mr. Oh my god. I feel violated. Just, uh... Ooh, that's better. We gotta get that necklace off her. Ooh, I'm so light and curvy. I like this, Mr. Butter. What is this? Get off of me. Mr. Clone! Yeah, what's going on, Mr. Butters? Oh, come on, we gotta figure out which ones of these are ours. Oh, right, right. All right, that should be good. You'll be on your way now. All right, goodbye, goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Bye, Mr. Clone, bye, bye. Oh my God, sis, please be okay. Please, please. Baby, baby. I really should've let this happen. Oh my God, oh my God. I didn't even get the chance to tell her, please. Please be okay, please. A second, you just call her sis. Ah, uh, God, Mr. Butters, we're out right now. Okay, be yeah, tell me later. Baby, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, thank God you're alive. Uh, I was so worried about you. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But what about the rest of our friends? Oh, right. Let me get the pendant. Let's just. It's two drops for each. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, for bomb on two. One, two. Okay. God, this thing's still heavy. Ugh. I don't even want to know how much remnants in that. Okay. I believe if I just say, uh, 
something. What, what, what was the whole reason they went to do this again? Uh, she said she was trying to make them beautiful or something. Right up. Wake up! You're all beautiful! Ooh, this did the magic worked. Uh. Oh man, I still can't see. <laughs> uh. Huh? Uh. What? Oh, I want to look like the Giga Chat meme. This sucks. Can't believe Eleanor would lie to us like that. Oh, what happened to her? Oh, uh, I'm not really sure. I guess it was because of the lack of access to Remnant, she passed out. I mean, she is kind of fueled by it after all. Wait, I've heard this word scattered around a couple times. What's this Remnant stuff? Oh, well, okay, so you know how school always taught you there were four states of matter, right? Yeah, it's a uh, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma, right? No, that's not true. There's actually five. Five? What's the fifth one? Oh, wait a minute. The fifth state of matter is Remnant. It's basically what's left after something decomposes. Uh, all its anger, pent-up feelings, and negative emotions. What's strange about this is it can only result from living things. It's sort of a solid or like a physical form of agony, if I guess it's a term to put it. And Remnant uh, is only really known about by big powers and stuff, and whoever dares to research it, but most scientists believe it to just be some malarkey. But it's real, and uh, this just proved it. <sighs> Remnant's sort of a parasitic type thing. If it gets too infested with the mind, it starts to crave more. It's almost like a predatorial drug. So you start to crave it once you have too much of it? Yeah, exactly. And that's what happened to me. Yeah. My guess here now is that, well, that's whatever makes this goo living is remnant. The goo itself is empty matter, but the only reason it was reacting to our stem audio is because it had remnant in it. So, yeah, case solved. Our substance was empty matter with remnant. But why would it have so much remnant inside it? I'm not sure. How can something like that even happen? Well, it would have to, you know, be someone with a lot of access to empty matter and not a lot of access to remnant. So they just kind of combined and fused the two together and then boom, you have what we had. My question is who would have that much access to that stuff? Well, it doesn't really matter. She's dead anyway. Let's just dispose of her somehow, I guess. Wait, you guys didn't break the new TV? Oh, thank God the new TV's still okay. I was getting a little worried there. Do you guys want to watch some FNAF show when we're done? Oh, I like that show. Uh, sure. Obviously, once this all gets cleaned up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got this, guys. I'll put her in a trash bag and dispose of her somewhere. Probably burn the corpse. Well, that seems a little immoral. Hey, to be fair, it was out of self-defense, and also we don't have a judicial system to even enforce that, so we just gotta get rid of it. He has a point. Uh, Ennard? Hmm? Would you and Mr. Butters like to stay and watch some of the FNAF show with us? I mean, you can go home whenever you want, I just figured it wouldn't be too much trouble. Well, no thanks, I'm, I'm kinda tired and I'm just, I wanna go home. No! What was that for? Come on, Ennard, this is the one chance to go bomb with her. Just do it. What about- I'll clean it up, it's fine. I'll just join you guys after, it's okay. Just go. Thanks, Mr. Butters. Uh, after some careful reconsideration, yes, that would actually be very nice. Great. Uh, Funtime Fox, you wanna go make popcorn? Ooh, I love popcorn! Besides, Ennard, you're practically a part of the family. Wow. Um, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go get the mop. <sighs> okay. Uh, Ennard, do you mind help me move the TV to the family room? Oh, uh, sure. Come on, Okay. There you are. Fascinating what this thing's become. Who knew a little bit of physical matter could turn into that? Ugh, the wonders and tragedies of remnant and agony. Ugh. Ugh. It's all over now. That itch has been satiating me all day. Hey, I couldn't find a mop or a bag, so I'll just have to scoop into this box. Huh? Huh? Who are you? Nobody you need to know. What are you doing with her? Putting her back into my body. Uh, there we go. Now, where were we? <laughs> Mr. Butters? What do you want my family, Mr. Butters? Well, your family? <laughs> Nothing. But you would make for a useful hostage. No, 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 Mr. Butters, you, you don't want to do that. Oh, why not? Come on, it'll be fun. I liked that Eleanor design. I'm gonna use it for my next minion. And maybe I can get it to torture you. No, 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 no. And I could get some answers out of you. You, you don't want to do that. I ain't got nothing you need to know. Oh, maybe I don't need to know it, but sure as hell want to know it. Help! Help! No one can save you now. All right, who threw that? Shit. Uh, 
What are you doing with him? Oh, and this is getting interesting now. It's not just me. It's come to my attention that this is a little more high stakes than I expected. That's the guy. That's the guy in our photo. Ah, uh, yes, you. I remember you for you managed to take a picture of me. Who are you? Well, the cat's out of the bag now. My name is Glitchtrap, and I'm your worst nightmare. Get out of here. Big words from a small man, but fine. I have no further business here. I got what I needed. Now that those rabbit twins know, it's gonna spread to everyone anyway. Might as well get the job done faster. Don't twist this into you winning. Get back here. Oh, I'll be back. And it'll be the last time you see me. Cause you'll be dead. Glitch trap? You think that name's come to passing with talking with Springtrap? You think he was talking about Springtrap and Springbody? Probably. Guys, I didn't want to point it out until he left, but I could see him. What? Oh, Ballora has vision! He looked like he had... Uh, how do I describe it? He was sort of like a... Hmm, I haven't really gotten the chance to see anything before. It was kind of beautiful. But I can imagine he looked very similar to what you all imagined. But that's all I could see. It was just darkness, and then he was there. It's almost like he's been in my head. I feel like I remember him. I think this guy might be far more than we're anticipating.